Greetings, my hoodoo boos. I am the African witch bitch. I got a bone to pick. I got a bone to pick. I got a bone to pick. So y'all already know when a bitch got something to say, she gonna like, you know, say it. So my problem, and I'm seeing a lot of this, are people in this lane, in this magical lane, in this witchy street, that <laughs> that watch a lot of social media shit. TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, IG, whatever. And IG, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok have popularized deities. Oshun's one. Oye is one. Uh, Yumoja. They have a certain canon of deities that they've popularized. Papa Legba. And you have brand new people or even seasoned people who will bypass their ancestors. They will not build a relationship with their ancestors. They will not do no shadow work. They want to jump head first into fucking with deities. Like um, the ones that YouTube and social media has popularized. They don't want to do no groundwork. They don't want to do no shadow work. They don't want to do no healing. They just want to jump head first and fuck with deities because they're popular deities they don't they don't want to hear about nothing else they just jump in giving offerings don't know nothing don't know and 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 i'm just sitting up here like okay on one hand if they're new babies and they don't know any better i can't blame them i do however blame the people who call themselves teachers and there are some people who are teachers in this lane i'm a teacher I blame us. It's our fault. It's our fault. I'm sorry. I, I can't really blame the new people who are brand new who starts to do this because out of all the teachers that I've seen, all the teachers that I've witnessed, even the ones when I was brand new and I and I was learning, nobody ever talks about shadow work. Very few. Very few talk about healing. Very few talk about um building a relationship with your ancestors. They just teach, jump in and do a spell. And if you know anything else about my teachings, I do not, I, that's not how I move. The very first thing I say, groundwork. Groundwork is building a relationship with your ancestors and shadow work, but they don't want to hear that. You have some people that are real hella like zealous and they don't want to hear nothing about that. They just want to jump in and be Oshun. They said, well, I feel connected to her. A bee flew on my windshield, so she called me. Or a bee stung me, so I'm Oshun because Beyonce popularized it. Now, I love me some Beyonce. Anybody who know me know that I definitely do. I love me some Beyonce. But um, just because she was crowned Oshun, to my knowledge, I think, don't mean you were because you like her music. The only way you'll know which Orisha has crowned you is if you get an Ifa reading. That will tell you, not because a bee flew on your windshield. And just because social media has popularized a canon of deities don't mean that you should go and just start working with them because you think you know what you're doing. The only thing I could tell y'all right now is just to do your groundwork and take your damn time and slow the fuck down and stop trying to rush the process so that you can be Miss Magical. That, that, that thing irritates my life. It makes my asshole itch when people who ain't done no groundwork, they're brand new, and they automatically wanna, wanna sit on and ride on a cloud of doing spell work to fuck people up, threatening other people that they're gonna fuck them up, and they brand new with Similac on their breath in this lane. <laughs> that, that's the first thing that I see a lot of new witches doing like brand new witches the first thing that they do is they decide they're a witch okay congratulations welcome I'm one too you know nice to meet you and then somebody will piss them off like somebody will say something talking shit about them behind their back well you don't do that to me because I'm a witch and you know what I can fuck you up if you really were a real witch you you low vibrational ass baby ass witch bitch you know that you don't threaten people of over minuscule things because if you really had power and really knew how to fuck somebody up the last thing you would do is you, is do that shit without just cause and being warranted because if you do you know that your ass can get whooped by the ancestors and i think that the thing is 
And sometimes I be trying to warn and save people and help them. But I really probably should just let people get fucked up. I, I, I truly do because I'm sick of repeating myself. People don't listen to shit. They want to do what they want to do. And and what does the old people say? What do old people say? You from the South like I'm from the South. Old people always say a hard head make a soft ass. They always say that. Or they say, ah, you don't believe fat meat greasy. And if you don't know what that means, hell, I, I don't even know how to explain it. You just going to have to Google that shit. But a hard head make a soft ass. A lot of y'all new witch bitches need to sit the fuck down somewhere. Stop trying to rush the process. Do your groundwork and let spirit lead you and elevate you when they see fit you are ready. It isn't about me and how I feel about you. You can be my best friend, but if you fucking up, I will dismiss your ass and I've done it before. It's not about how I feel. It's not about how you feel. It's about how your ancestors feel. It's about how spirit feel. And when they see that you're ready to go to the next level, if you have that relationship built up, they will elevate you to the next level. And the next level is completely different than the last level and will be completely different than the level before. Example, every time I speak, I like to give analogies. I like to give examples. So you're learning how to do math. One plus one is two. Okay, but the next grade level that you're going up, you're doing more shit, like adding double two-digit figures. That's completely different than the last shit you learned, but you had to learn the one plus one is two or else you wouldn't be able to go to the next level. It's the same thing in this lane. You have to take your time and put your time in and elevate. You have to, because if you don't, you will be spiritually retarded. There's a lot of people out there that's spiritually retarded. And I know a lot of people don't like that word and I get it because it's a derogatory word used to um, disenfranchise and, and put down people who have de developmental delays. But I'm using the word because it fits because there's a lot of people out there that are spiritually retarded. There's a lot of people calling themselves teachers that are retarded as fuck spiritually and they're not ethically sound and they're not doing shit the right way and they're not teaching people the proper progression because if they were if we had an army of ethical ass teachers who were spiritually cultivated we wouldn't have so many reckless ass practitioners out there and a level of blame have to lay have to be laid with the teachers but then again hell i can't blame myself if there's a whole army of witch bitches out there who are spiritually retarded, who are brand new, who are stepping into the lane, calling themselves teachers. You ain't no fucking teacher. If you haven't been called by spirit to teach, shut the fuck up and stop trying to lead people wrong. And if you're a new baby in hoodoo or in any type of spirituality, it don't even have to be hoodoo. If you're a new baby, you sit your ass back and you develop a relationship with spirit because if you have that relationship, spirit will warn you when some shit ain't right. So when somebody come d dipping into your inboxes or coming to you talking about they're a teacher, spirit will ring the alarm and let you know, move the fuck around. This person don't know what they're talking about. I dealt with that and you will too. So the lesson for today is to stay the fuck away from spiritually retarded people and if you are spiritually retarded you can you can be fixed you can be fixed all you got to do is sit the fuck down and learn something that's all you got to do stop what you're doing slow the fuck down and build your relationship up with spirit and that's it and if you've been doing retarded ass shit spiritually apologize to your ancestors and feed them and learn your lesson before they fuck you up but some of y'all need to be fucked up the shit i'm saying thank you for listening to me rant and I got one last thing that I need to say for my, uh, for the people who email me, you find me on my website and I have my, my email address. I read through some of them, but my shit is flooded. I got thousands of emails. And if I get back to you late, it's not my fault because literally I get hundreds a day. Stop emailing me, asking me to do shit that I already spoke on. That's unethical. People watch one video and email me and they have no idea. They, they sit up and, and it's insulting because they size me up like I'm like these other witch bitches out here in these streets. I have made it perfectly clear that I am an ethical practitioner. I've made it perfectly clear that I am not a witch for hire. I have made it perfectly clear, excuse me, there's a truck behind me, that 
I'm not one of those people that you can hire to do shit for you. I teach people to do work for themselves and I don't do unethical ass shit. I don't. I'm not bringing your boyfriend back to you that you dissed the fuck out of. If y'all broke up, I don't do love work. I don't do no low vibrational ass shit like that. I don't. If you guys broke up, that's between you and him. And if he wants to be with you, you wouldn't need a love spell to do it. I don't go around spiritually raping people. No, that's not me. That's not my cup of tea. And neither will any of my admins in my group. They're not finna um, do no stupid ass hoe ass shit like that. I know that you can go to any other spiritual practitioner and they'll take your money and they'll clean out your purse and your wallet. I'm not her. I don't have to. I know how to manifest money in abundance on my own. I don't need to dip in your wallet to do it. It ain't that serious. Stop emailing me asking me stupid shit. For real. I done told people a hundred times that it's not me. I don't work like that. I don't vibrate like that. I, I, I vibrate pretty high. That's low vibrational bullshit. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go through some of my videos and watch, especially the one about spiritual rape. I will talk to you guys later. I am the African witch bitch, hoodoo practitioner. I'm having a sale on my website right now. Your, if you apply the coupon code, everything is your whole 20% off your whole order. Hit me up if you're um in the market to purchase low-cost hoodoo supplies or hit me up if you're into more in-depth teaching on my Patreon. All of that is in the description box below. I am the African witch bitch. And again, if you are spiritually retarded, boss the fuck up and stop the bullshit. It ain't that serious. Like, for real, for real. You need to do better. I'll talk to you guys later. I